Alright, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will become gay for the next 10 years. That's all. Alright, ladies and germs, uh, this time I must go retrieve thy new ultra gaming PC powerful build thing. Sometimes I just try too hard. All right, I'm back, all right. Well, too bad I'm not a um, typical vlogging channel because, you know, you kind of missed what, what was really cool because I don't have a dash cam, but yeah, basically I actually ended up pe peeling out um, of the, uh, on the highway. But there it is, that beautiful baby. Let's get this sweet, adorable, pudgy little baby inside now. They call me the bandit. No, I'm not a freaking terrorist. You know, I really didn't think the sunglasses through because I can't see a dang thing. I'm not sure how the angling is, but uh, for those of you who actually want to know what kind of computer I have, that I just bought. It is a brand, it's the, the brand is I, Pow I Buy Power, which I did, I bought power. Okay, so we got the headset back on. Hold on, let me just, uh, I'm gonna take off this mask real quick. It's getting, it's getting hot in here. But yeah, here we have the, uh, the keyboard. Oh, it's upside down. So this actually did come with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Not that I needed it, but I honestly thought that what is probably why it was a bit more is because it had the keyboard and mouse with it, but there was no option that said it didn't. And I didn't really look too much into it, so I'm just assuming that even without it, the PC still would have been the same price. And then the mouse, it's sadly not a wireless, I don't, I don't think. The picture showed a wired, okay? I always trust pictures, but it is a Zeus E2. But uh, yeah, here we have it. We have the glass clear case. It's already got fingerprints all over it. <sighs> These people do not know how to wear gloves. Bam, look at that sexiness. There we go, that's better. Look at that, look at that sexiness. Whew. Now I know of course there's a lot of other people out there who have already done stuff like this and they have actually built it themselves, which is much cooler videos. And especially since I'm not, you know, that famous and we ain't a very big community. But hey, we're a community nonetheless, and I like to involve you guys in my life. This is kind of cool because it's, I'm glad it has these, where it has like the, um, the, the panel screws, oh, panel screws in on the side. I'm gonna have to hold this with my other hand. Caution. What does it even say? Tempered glass, handle with care. Well, I will, unlike the people who didn't wear gloves and put fingerprints all over it. Again, it is still pretty hard to see, um, but the this is pretty much what the inside of it looks like. I have not turned it on, but, um, I think it, the, uh, there is LEDs on the inside, which, um, glows up red, I think. I don't know. That was just like the default picture. I'm not sure if I can choose any color, but, you know, let's see. We got one of the, uh, those fans. I forget what they're called. I think it's just like the main cooling fan. And then we have a CPU fan. And then I think that's all the fans we got. There might be some in here, actually. I don't know. Now, a couple of downsides to this computer that I have already kind of noticed not like just now but I kind of like went over it even after I bought it but it's still fine because it's still better than nothing first of all it's only got one RAM stick okay that is much better. I honestly didn't think the flashlight would help yes it does support obviously 1080 I don't see why it wouldn't it's a freaking powerful $500 plus gaming computer however sadly it doesn't support 4k which again I didn't realize it at the time but obviously ones that are going to support 4K or even 2K or 1440p or whatever you want to call it, those are still going to be way up there, more so than probably $500. But the main part that I didn't like is this. The GPU is fine. It's, it is a GeForce GTX. It is the GeForce GTX 710. However, the downside to it, if you're someone who likes all this stuff and you want to like have the best graphics and this and that, like the best everything, this is definitely not a good GPU so I'm definitely going to have to upgrade it
By the way, I've literally been up all freaking night. All night. I'm like non-stop been watching bass fishing videos. Okay, so I have finally got everything all set up. Now let's just actually see if this bad boy will... Oh, that's cool. Let's get the... I mean, that's cool that it has like the restart and like the power next to each other, but if that accidentally gets hit, it'll be catastrophe. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's see if this bad boy will power on. Ooh! Oh, man, I really wish this phone displayed better colors. Like, like, honestly, this phone, I'm looking like through the screen of the phone right now. It cannot even portray how beautiful this red line is. It is just sexy. That is like the sexiest red I've ever seen. And we got the, the LED fan going on back there. And uh, no LED has been going on yet. Okay, so I finally actually got the TV to come on. Um, the monitor isn't going to come on because... Um, the monitor's not going to come on because usually if you have like two monitors hooked up, um, every time you like restart your computer um, and you're like at like the, the... or if you're at like the, the sign-in screen, basically the second, the, the second screen or monitor or whatever doesn't come on until you're fully signed in. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and... Um, I will see you guys when I'm done. I finally finished with all the setup stuff, so after this it should take me straight to the windows. But, um, judging by how fast this whole back screen is going, you know, it's actually, this is a really good computer so far. I mean, it's already, um, registering the Windows 10 really quickly because, it, I mean, it is, its default is Windows 10. But, you know, it's, it's just much faster already, I'm noticing. So, um, yeah, we're almost done. Uh, now we just have to wait for this. So, yeah, I will see you guys when it is done in several, or possibly several minutes okay so as you can see it like actually would back up uh we are finally up and running so um i don't know how it actually saved or knew my desktop background i mean i can see how in a way because it had me signing to microsoft during the whole process but i didn't think microsoft like you know like the email thing or whatever it is um would actually have like the the background of my computer i thought like that was like on the files of like the hard drives to the, this piece of garbage or something. So I guess the logging into Microsoft saved some things. I, I don't know. We'll see you guys after, again, I watch the DVDs, transfer the hard drives, and uh, download the game uh, of my choosing. Okay guys, so it is actually currently two days after um, the last time, since the last time I have actually recorded. And I actually do have my older computer hooked up because um, turns out, uh, I couldn't, or it was way too difficult, um, to actually put that hard drive into that computer to try and transfer the hard, or the hard drive files or whatever, and it wasn't working. Besides that, um, it only takes the actual, like, most important, like, program files and stuff like that, so it wouldn't have, like, taken, like, the videos and pictures and all that stuff I had on there. So either way, I would have regardless had to do it this way, which is basically I have over here just kind of thrown in the corner of my bed, um, my monitor hooked up to my old... Um, computer, but basically I'm transferring all the most important files um, on it, into my Gmail so I can just download it um, onto this computer. So if you guys ever want to do that, well, there you go. It's very simple tr uh, file transferring it. So there. This is currently pretty much everything I have downloaded thus far. I don't really have anything in the um, background. As you can see, I have like nothing else even here. All I have is like um, the stuff on my desktop and like all the stuff I downloaded. So literally all I have is all this stuff. So, um, this is a thing that's happening. All right. Very annoyed. Take two and action. So this is actually a week later, uh, as opposed to the last clip you were just watching. And as you can clearly obviously tell, I am tired. I am annoyed. Um, for all bunch of reasons. So basically this is my second take because the first time, I spent about an hour and a half trying to figure out one of two issues I was having, which I'm not going to get into because I just want to finish this video already. Then after I finally figured it out, after doing a quick 5-10 mm, minute take, then the video got corrupted, of course. Then I went ahead and relaunched everything so I can record again, and then I started having the same issue. Spent about, through about 45 minutes trying to resolve the issue, which you think, you know, since I was literally just recording, you know, it should already be all set up and everything should be working. No, everything just stopped working. And basically, as you could probably tell already, there is no sound for the gameplay. Because that was the issue I had spent an hour and a half resolving, fixed, then got corrupted, then spent about another 45 minutes trying to fix again. So, hence why there's no background noise, and so I just spent all that time trying to figure that out. Just 
to not have it work anyway. So as you can clearly tell, I am very annoyed and very upset. But anyway, I'm I'm like literally not even going to ramble on about like all this other crap that's been going on. I'm just going to jump right into this. So basically, um, as you can see in the background of the game, like, you know, you can see Minecraft going. It's running at 60 FPS, as you can see. Doing all right, but then again, it's Minecraft. It's literally a game people use to test games. So first of all, this computer, I'm just going to start by saying this computer is absolute garbage. It was a $520 computer. Do not buy it. Save up your money and buy something better. So I'm actually going to be going over everything. Why? So I'm actually going to be going over what I posted on Amazon as a review. And um, I'm going to put that up on screen. And then I'm basically going to be going over everything and telling you why you should not buy this piece of garbage, literally. So basically, my old computer, as you guys have seen, is about an early 2000s, uh, 2000s computer. It was a Windows 7. Um, I upgraded to Windows 10. And um, I got it from my school, so actually it has been used a bunch by a bunch of other people way before me. And even that ran better than this piece of new gaming. I put heavy quotes on that. It works better than this thing. All right, so actually, I think I'm going to actually kind of like read over everything. Um, I'm going to kind of like read over my review as even though it's on screen and kind of like just kind of, again, just read it and then just kind of describe it to you. First of all, the day I got this computer, I al I had already run into three problems, which I forgot one of them was, you know, because me and my freaking memory. It came with three different installation disks for drivers um, to actually make the computer even run, even though it doesn't have a disk tray. So I spent all day trying to figure out ways to get the installation disk onto the computer so it so it would function properly after saying after staying up all night trying to figure it out i finally decided to email the company and ask them how to put the disks on there and they told me that the drivers from the disks were already pre-built into the computer so i wouldn't have to do it since there's no way i can i can since it doesn't have a disk tray so basically as you can clearly tell there, it doesn't come with a disc tray, but it came with three different discs. So I spent all day trying to figure out a way to get the installation driver discs on there. And just to come to find out, it was already pre-built on there. So I don't even know why they sent me the discs. The second issue I was having was the fact that the PC comes with two HDMI ports, two DVI ports, two VGA ports. Now this one actually really kind of irritated me. There was one of each port on the motherboard and the graphics um, and on the graphics card. So basically there was a DVI, HDMI, and VGA both on the, um, one of each on the motherboard and the um, uh, GPU, the graphics card. For whatever reason, the ports on the motherboard don't even work. Again, I spent all day, possibly even two days, trying to figure out a way, trying to figure out a way to get the ports on the motherboard to work. I tried looking it up everywhere and tried watching some videos on YouTube and they all said the same thing. You have to restart the computer, you know, do all this, go into the BIOS mode and um, try like rebooting it, spam delete key a bunch of times to enter the BIOS mode and go to like your chipset settings and the internal graphics to enable it. But every like computer's motherboard and like computer in general has a completely different BIOS mode. And since every computer is different, I spent hours trying to figure out how to find how to find out all the crap on there. Then when I finally found it, it then when I finally found it, it would only let me disable it or change it to whatever the setting the motherboard said, like, you know, the UMA. So basically what the videos, people like in videos would say, you know, like, um, basically in order to get the ports on the motherboard to work, um, you have to, you know, go into here and go into there to uh, find the internal graphics. And then it'll automatically be put on disabled. And then you just click on it and click enable. But the only options were disable and like VMA or UMA or something like that. So after about two days, I decided to contact the company again and ask them how to get the ports on the motherboard to work, especially since I have two DVI monitors and one HDMI TV for dual or triple monitor setup. And they told me the ports on the motherboard have been disabled by them, by the company, and they will only work if you take out the graphics card. And I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm actually literally sitting there just thinking to myself, it's like, Okay, so why in the world would you actually put ports on the motherboard then if you if you have to take the graphics card out just for them to work? Which I can kind of see why because, you know, in case something happens to the graphics card and you need, you know, whatever the ports to work. But still, why would you disable them? I need the ports, okay? I need, like, two HDMI ports, two VGA, DVI, whatever. Then about three days into, 
been about three days and been about three days into having this computer I finally went ahead and started transferring the files from my old PC to my new one and started downloading all the programs I had before. And about halfway through the whole process, everything started running extremely slow. After I was done with all of that, I decided I would turn it off for the night and go to bed, hoping that everything would be better by the morning. It wasn't. It took forever for it to start up. And even when I and even when I only had Google open with just one tab and nothing else running in the background. Everything just kept crashing and closing, and it would just say that I didn't have enough RAM, even though my old Windows 7 computer had the same amount of RAM, way more junk on it, and I could run a bunch of different programs and tasks all at the same time, and it still ran better and faster than this stupid piece of garbage computer. Like, no joke. So basically, um, when I had only just Google open, right? On this computer ever since i got it um i had to it just kind of like uh, every time like af after about an hour or so maybe less um it would tell me uh that like it kept it just kept crashing and saying i wouldn't have enough memory like on it like i would just have w google open that was it just watching youtube and then after about an hour or less it would just crash saying I, I don't have enough memory so and that's the thing is it came with one ram stick with eight gigabytes on it when my old com piece of garbage old computer Came with two RAM sticks, uh, four gigabytes on each. So again, it was still a total of eight gigs of RAM, same as this computer now. And it had no problem, no no issues. It never crashed. I've had this new computer for about a week, and I've had to restart it more times in this past week than I have my old computer out of the entire years I've ever had it. And I did, of course, buy new RAM because I did tweet out saying that I, I literally can't even post or do anything until I get more RAM, which it did make a big difference getting more RAM. But things still tend to crash and run fairly slow sometimes, and I still occasionally have to keep restarting it because it keeps crashing. And, like, my screens will go black and stuff like that, but it used to be so bad to the point where I had to restart it every hour or less because just everything kept crashing and my screens would just shut off. I literally can't even go an hour without having to restart. Okay, yeah, I literally just said that. Now, the gaming-related issues I was having is... Oh, of course, I'm just going to read it. I'll admit, this computer does run very nice and smoothly when it comes to much smaller based games such as Minecraft and VRChat, but any other game, even slightly bigger than, uh, than that, doesn't even really run good. And this actually has to do with, um, I, I want to say, I, I've gotten to know this computer fairly well already, I want to say it's, it's mostly obviously the GPU, the graphics card, but I, it's come to my attention, it might also partially be the RAM. I doubt it. I don't think it's really the RAM. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with the RAM, because the RAM is perfectly fine now, sort of. And I think the, the power supply, because I've seen a few complaints about the power supply. But basically, this graphics card, I, I literally can't even run a game that's not... Like, it doesn't even have to be one gigabyte of file size. It doesn't even have to be a gigabyte. Anything about a gigabyte or higher, it just won't run. It, it's just garbage. It just... Golf it, it's like I think a gigabyte of file size. I don't have any mods or anything like that for it. I have to run that thing on all low settings just for it to run even semi smoothly. Apex, it doesn't run like it doesn't run anything over a gigabyte or even a gigabyte, which is just sad. Oh, and also, here's the next portion of it um, their customer service is pretty garbage. Now, I'll admit, um, the few problems I was having, I'd say I had about five, six different problems. I did email the company, and about, um, I did get a response back a fair amount of time, I'd say, a few days, at least, like three or four business days, you know, about the time, um, you know, you should get it. However, there was still about two questions, two or three other problems or questions I asked, or no, there was like two other problems I was having that I still have not yet got a response to. And one of the things is I actually did edit it out of the video because I just worked like the this whole video. It was like an hour long in just footage. And I ended up because I just kept rambling. So I just ended up editing it down, down, down to about like seven, eight minutes or something. So so I kind of like cut out the part where I was like where like, um, I was talking about how basically as soon as I got the computer, I went to the website to get it all set up. And um, it said they even said, like, you know, thank you for your purchase. Um, just write a review. They didn't say it had to be a good review or a bad review. They just said write a review. Um, and then after it's been confirmed, which I actually didn't know, it had to be confirmed by Amazon first. Um, then take a screenshot of it and send it to them. Now that was one of the things. Out of the two other problems I believe I was having, and I sent them an email, still in a response. And then they said they would give me the $10 Amazon card if I replied to that email 
with a screenshot of my review that I sent in. And guess what? Uh, a week later, I still have not gotten an email back about the $10 either. So, and I have no $10 in my Amazon or anything. So their service, I would say from thus far is, is pretty garbage already. All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, basically just to like kind of sum everything up, just don't buy this computer, save up, just buy a better computer. I mean, typically people will tell you to buy a, a, a computer, like no less than about, I, I typically heard about six, $700. This one costs about five twenty, Um, but the price actually like recently jumped up to 600 so uh, again do not buy this computer and again to sum everything up um you know they they uh, because, and again to sum everything up because i i actually had to like buy I'm, I'm still having to buy more stuff to put into this computer just to make it actually run properly and call it an actual quote-unquote gaming computer so again to sum everything up they sent me three installation discs which couldn't even be installed uh, the HDMI, DVI, and VGA ports on the motherboard don't even work unless you take out the graphics card, which is completely stupid. If the computer crashes every hour or so, um, and I have to restart it every time. The games don't run very well, and uh, customer service is pretty terrible. And again, um, VRChat and Minecraft are the only two games that actually even run pretty good. And I haven't even tested VRChat ever since I got more RAM, because even that game crashed because I didn't have enough RAM. And um, even halfway editing through this video... My computer completely crashed because it said I didn't have enough memory, even though I upgraded the, the even though I upgraded um, and I still kind of occasionally keep getting that error. Uh, even over this past weekend, I kept getting the error saying you don't have enough memory and stuff like that, even though I, sp I p spent $70 on more RAM just so it can still. I mean, again, it was totally worth it because it's not nearly as bad. But anyway, I've already been like recording just this part for like 16 and a half minutes. So. Um, I gotta get this edited so I can go to bed. It's already like 1.30 in the morning, so I'm just very, very annoyed and irritated and just in general. So, um, yeah, so again, don't buy this computer. Um, I know usually people always, every time they get something like really expensive like this, it, it always works out for them and they always say, oh yeah, go ahead and get it. It's a really great budget gaming computer. I don't care what the reviews say. It has four, four stars even, um, and it's like 4.0 stars out of like 250 plus reviews. And they're all talking about how it's a really great basic gaming computer, or like not even a basic gaming computer. They just talk about how it's like a really great gaming computer, um, budget wise, not budget wise, whatever. Um, but it, it really isn't. Um, and I, I don't think it's literally just me um, that's having these issues. Like, I, I mean, it has to be because everyone else doesn't seem to be having these. But I don't know what's been going on. But like everything seems to be running like garbage. So, um, yeah, again. Just don't buy it, and I'm going to stop rambling now and just freaking edit this part and go to bed. So, I will see you guys later. Deuces!